Hey everyone, so this tutorial I'm really excited about. This is the finished look, and this is how I started. And these are the finished photos. So I wanna show how to do a full editorial from concept. And this is my mood board. So I have this forest that I wanna shoot in. So I wanna do a look that's really reminiscent of nature and a little bit of fashion forward. So I'm gonna start out with by sanitizing my hands. And I'm gonna do this because it's good to sanitize your hands, but I also am gonna be using my hands a lot in this demonstration. So I start out with the multi-action hydrating toner and just cleaning the face. And then I'm gonna do aqua gel and porn shine primer. So this look I want it to be really matte and I want the it to just look like velvet skin. So this is a great start. But I will use the Toll Punishing Eye Cream under the eyes because I'm gonna do a dark kind of graphic smoky eye and I just wanna make sure I can layer the concealer underneath. And then I'm also gonna do a nude lip trick with concealers, which I'll show you. So I'm going to use the Clean Cut Lip Balm. So to start out, I'm using Soft Matte Complete Concealer with the 42 brush, and I'm layering this underneath the foundation. So she has a couple blemishes that I wanna cover, but I just wanna make sure that any imperfections are covered before I put the foundation on, because when you're doing kind of a velvet matte skin, you don't wanna to put too many layers because it will show texture more, especially with powder. So after I've done that, I'm gonna put on Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, and I'm applying this with my fingers, and then I'm gonna push it in with my palm, I'm going to shade lighter because I want it to look very editorial because we're going to be in the sunlight. Then I'm using Soft Matte Complete Concealer again on top of the Natural Radiant Longwear and under the eyes. So I'm doing a couple layers of that. Then the Velvet Press Powder, I'm going to just push this in with the Geo Brush. And I'm really kind of putting it all over the face, but focusing on the center of the face where it can be a little bit shinier but just making sure because I've done those three layers that we're really setting that. Then I'm using the Laguna Bronzer and this is the Eda brush. And if you saw from my mood board, which you can go back and look at, I was really into the very sculpted looks that all the models had. So I want this to be almost all about the eyes and then everything pushed back and then sculpted cheeks without any blush or highlighter. So I go back in with the Uchiha and just buff it out. And then putting just a little bit on the temples, which is going to really help pull the eye up when we finish the eye design. Okay, so High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner. This is Grafton Street, which is a really gorgeous green, like forest green, which I was really inspired by, by the forest I'm shooting in. So I'm tight lining the top liner and the bottom on the waterline. And then I'm taking the 44 brush and I'm just smudging underneath just to kind of pull it down under. And the reason I'm doing this under first is that I'm gonna then wing it up on the outside, which is gonna really help guide the type of lift I want in this graphic eye. I want this graphic eye to almost be kind of cat-like pulled out. And I notice if I start from the top, sometimes the shape isn't as flattering and lifted. So I'm just getting my shape in here. And you notice I have her mo the model's eyes open because I like to kind of sketch out my shape with the eyes open so that I can get that perfect graphic shape. And then once I have my placement, I'm then going to fill in the rest of the lid with the eyeliner. And I'm just going kind of closer to the lash line, and then I'm going to blend that out with a brush. And don't worry about making sure that it's super blended on the edges. Just really kind of focus on getting most of the color on the lid. And then if you want it to be a little softer on the edges, you can do that. Then after you've really blended it on both lids and created your shape, you can kind of check it and see if you need to clean anything up, but I'm pretty happy with that. So now I'm gonna use the Cool Crush Eyeshadow Palette. And the first color I'm using is called Inception, and it's almost this like sea foam um, kind of shimmer green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set all of the eyeliner with this eyeshadow, and I'm using the number 50 brush. And I'm just really kind of pushing it onto the lid. And then on the outer corners, I'm just pulling it out to wing it out a bit more. Then I'm using the color ganjas underneath and I'm taking it just underneath because it's a little bit deeper in tone, but it's, it's almost this aquamarine um, aqua shade that just really is gonna intensify the bottom area of the eye. Then this color is called Risk and I'm pushing this just in the inner corner. So doing a little bit of you know complementary color play, um, but this look is definitely more suited for like fashion editorial. So it's gonna be more of a beauty look for editorial. It's not really something you probably would go out every day in, but maybe. 
So this is a cool trick. So I want to bleach your brows, but you know, it's a lot of work to do. So a trick I like to do is I'm taking the concealer and the first color is honey. And that's canceling out any of the darkness. Um, so you can use any kind of really orangey peat shade. Then I'm taking a spoolie and I'm going in with the color Chantilly, which is the lightest shade we make. And these are the Radiant Creamy Concealers. And by putting this really light shade that has a little bit of yellow undertone, it really imitates a bleach brow. And then I like to then finish by going over it with a little powder just to make sure it's set. And then for the lips, one thing that I notice a lot of times, if I try to go for a really nude lip, it just doesn't look that nude in photos. So the trick I like to do for editorials is concealer, which for every day probably isn't as wearable, but it looks gorgeous on photos. So the best way to do this is choose a color that is exactly your skin tone and then do a shade one or two lighter and uh, darker and then mix them. Then go in with a really light nude pencil and just blend out the edges so it doesn't kind of wash you out. It gives you a little bit of um, definition on the lips. And now I'm doing mascara. Why I'm doing this order, I don't know. I was just in this creative mood and totally forgot and I'm going back in. Um, but when you do do the mascara, just make sure that you get it all the way to the base of the lashes. And um, I really want the lashes to look kind of thick and, and more uh, give them more volume. So um, I'm focusing it more at the lash line. And that's it. So that's the look. And um, it's all about the eyes. And then the brows and the lips are pushed back. And then here we are in my garden. I have this uh, really beautiful forest in my house in Portugal. And it just really inspires me to shoot here. Um, and so this is just kind of behind the scenes of us shooting. And then these are the finished photos. So I like to show the whole process beginning to end. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.